Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ Ron Kilio, and I am still here in beautiful Germany at 42 Gear Street. And joining me is Yuha from Rokongas Guitars. And he has right. in my hands something that I've been eyeing probably since NAM. I saw this uh, on other YouTube uh, videos, and this is the Valve Bucker guitar, which is one of the most unique uh, innovations in a guitar that I've ever seen. And Yuha, would you like to tell me a little bit about this? Because this is the first time I'm holding <laughs> this, and I'm so excited about it. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's it is the the the, the first and currently the only um, active pickup in electric guitar that is driven by tubes. So it's basically that's how you would kind of that's how you m might best understand it. It is an active pickup driven by tubes. There's and tubes in the guitar. Yeah, it is, and and it's run from the floor. So there, there is like. There's a, uh, you know, it gets 12 volts AC power from your pedal power. Okay. And, and it needs this power, su power supply unit, and you connect it with XLR cord. Right, so the that, audio and the power. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cable. And, and um, well, basically, uh, you know, the, uh, the idea of it is, is kind of going from uh, traditional electric guitar more to the hi-fi or, you know, like... Um, high fidelity thinking of studio technology so right. we were so, talking uh, yeah. at dinner how uh comparing this to uh, like a neumann mic right yeah like neumann u47 or or those tube microphones Classic tube mics. yeah that have kind of followed after that right so so the the um theory of it and the and the thinking is the, exactly the same okay. so we we have a very special magnetic pickup that is is sensitive and picks up all the nuances that it possibly can from the strings and from this guitar and then we are um, amplifying and uh, voicing that signal right within the circuit here with the with the two stages of the tube uh, two gain stages so we have two we have a triode tube and we have a pento tube gotcha and so even though it has just one pickup... Right, there's I, a, I was going to ask you that. There's yeah. one pickup in this guitar, but there's obviously switches. There are switches. So, so that's that would be what you expect. So it's a volume and a tone. Mm -hmm. And then we have three different voicings here, okay. which you can try. You know, best that I talk less and you play, <laughs> play it a bit. And here we have a six decibel boost. Oh, okay. So, so can, For like yeah. solos and... Oh, cool. So down here, this is basically... How would you describe this uh, setting right here? How would you describe it? No, that's, that's It's very what I would expect from a, a, a pickup here. So the, so the kind of the, the 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 spectrum of it is very much like humbucker like. Yes. So it's like P A F humbucker like mm -hmm. thing. So it right once there. I'll let you do the switching. So and yeah. So. Oh, okay. It gives a little more uh, warmth and bottom almost, yeah. right? Yeah. Kind of mellower. More maybe to the neck pickup or in between, in between somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just try this. It's cool. What I'm what I'm noticing is because it's only one pickup, and I've gotten used to having one pickup guitars like mm -hmm. old harmonies or whatnot. Depending on where you pick on the guitar, you're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So you have your your neck pickup sound, <laughs> yeah. and then your twangy. Yeah. So moving on. Yeah. Go ahead. So this is. So what is this now? So, so this is now something that you would not find from a regular electric guitar easily because it is kind of you know you get not only more on the high register and the low register but it has like it, it's more detailed. This yeah. is this is where it kind of goes more high fidelity in a very musical way, mm -hmm. unlike a, 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 like let's say the active pickups that you would have available commercially. Yeah. Like. So this feels very jazz neck pickup to me. Yeah. But 
there's a certain clarity because I guess where the pickup is actually located, you still get clarity on the high strings. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and one of the things that many players have commented is that you, you get some sort of like an, a, not, not exactly like an acoustic guitar, but towards an acoustic guitar. Some, some kind of, you know, the slight percussiveness that you get in there. Yeah, and yeah, the, exactly. yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and so, so there is uh, that kind of like acoustic guitar tonality in it. Like my friend Mika was commenting the other day that it's like, maybe, you know, could this be the, the, the perfect guitar, electric guitar for an acoustic for, guitarist? Ah, you know, yeah. Like, or something. But this is all, this is all, you know, all this stuff is kind of, you know, I, I leave it up to, to, to your viewers and to, to Yeah, because I don't think because, they've ever you know, seen or played anything. Yeah, and like for me, for technology. us, it's really, it's, it's more kind mm -hmm. of, um, you know, for me, it's been a, a really enjoyable journey to, with our team to develop this yeah. over the past five years. But really the question for me is that, you know, who is this for and what music is this? Because this is really so kind of out of the box. Yeah, which it's, we were having dinner last night and we were talking about it that uh, I think musicians need to start thinking out of the box to yeah. uh, and accept these new innovations because we're so used to the vintage way of, of doing yeah. things. And yeah, and, and to me, it's really like the fascinating idea, you know, that we are actually, you know, the, 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 the modern times, it's often we are coming up with new technologies, new right. ways of doing things, but we are often, very often using these new technologies to, to try to regenerate those old sounds that we love, yeah. right? So what we've been doing here is that we're using old technology For and sounds. trying to bring genuine new sound that doesn't, try to necessarily sound like one of the old songs. Yeah. So then the question remains that, you know, whether there's a place for something like this in the world. Yeah. And that, you know, remains, leave it up to you I, guys, I, I guess. <laughs> can we see, uh, can I hear what it sounds like, like on an Overdriven channel? Yes. Yeah, so, so we'll move on to this one, maybe first, or... Uh, okay, so that's on the in the first position, would yeah. you say? clear. Now I'm hearing uh, an acoustic quality coming out with like the percussiveness, the yeah. percussiveness that you were talking about. Now let's talk about this switch. You said this is a, a boost switch? Yeah. So it's just six decibel clean boost. Of course, it I mean depends on what setting your whether your pedals, yeah, your amplifier where where you are with it. So it could be clean boost or it could just like in the very overdriven, you know, gain stages. Yeah. Then you would just increase the, the gain. gain, yeah. gain. Yeah. Oh wow. Especially yeah. for the working musician that, you know, it's it's great to have a, a boost right at your fingertips for solos. Or for yeah, and we, we kind of, you know, stage. we just thought of this, it came as a kind of like a bonus thing because we're bringing the, the you know, the, the, the 12 volts into the guitar. So we were thinking that, hey, that's Let's something some that, just why not? Because that's something that you could, a, a lot of us, I would imagine that would kind of yeah. find useful, you know? That is so cool, man. <laughs> so, um, for the future, mm -hmm. uh, are, is there any plans for doing something with uh, a dual pickup configuration? Yeah, it's possible. Or? I mean, this is now the, the kind of like the, the game opening for us, for yeah. this technology. So we are, we've been working on the, on the, the, the first pickup now for years. And uh, last January, like you mentioned, we br we launched it at NAM. Yeah, and uh, yeah. So now now we are kind of getting feedback and and you know what kind of type of players, what kind of ideas and and so on. And we have a we have a my in my you know 
little black book that I'm writing all the stuff that I get some interesting ideas from people from yeah, players. Feedback so, from yeah, yeah. So so there there is so many ways we could go with this technology. Yeah. Because you know it's it doesn't it, it's not necessarily doesn't need to be one pickup in this kind of very how do you how would you say like an aesthetic statement yeah, position like here round big chunk in the middle. It's right. just that we wanted to do the first version of it like this because it kind of explains that you know also the possibilities quite well because you know that even if it is a pickup right there in the middle where a lot of electric players wouldn't expect or wouldn't want their pickup if they can choose if I have one pickup do I want it there exactly probably not but but since we are doing it kind of a different approach that uh, it, it is not quite so limiting for us because we have this uh, very sensitive very um, musical um, element the magnetic pickup that is wired all different from a, like a normal passive pickup um, and and we can do voicings regardless of where where it is so we can uh -huh. make it kind of sound like like you have the first position it's kind of bridge humbucker yeah. ish type of thing and so on and so on right but now the future is of course I mean the next thing is that we are already all the bass players out there, we are working on a bass version of this. Oh, so this is something very cool. interesting for me because we this this pickup is capable of capturing a, a the, wide range the, of frequencies. The really, yeah, and the really low frequencies uh -huh. beautifully. So, okay, very yeah. cool, man. I appreciate this. I, I kind of want to play a little more. You want to play well. with the more distortion? Let's go back to the clean. It was so oh, okay. Pretty. It's yeah. so pretty. Okay, go ahead. But um, thank you, Juha, for, for joining me and, and, and this welcoming me to pleasure. this uh, amazing <laughs> instrument. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up, click subscribe, share it with your friends, your family, your favorite Finnish friend. And, uh, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. I'm just going to play us out a little bit. How about that? Yeah. And pose for thumbnail. <laughs>